Search. Yeah, no, I was sitting at a bar. I was sitting at a bar, and uh, there were a couple of friends of mine, and uh, they came into the bar one night, and they had uh, apparently um, been kicked out of the apartment they were in. Bruce Willis is a talented television and movie actor, famous for portraying versatile roles. As a youngster, he had a stuttering problem and took to stage performances to overcome this issue. Coming from a family of blue-collar workers, he took up several menial jobs before venturing into professional acting. After going through a period as a struggling actor, he finally landed his first gig in an off-Broadway production of Heaven and Earth. He made his entry into television by winning the role of David Addison Jr. in the series Moonlighting after competing against 3,000 other contenders. He also tried his hand at singing and released a pop blues album called The Return of Bruno, which enjoyed moderate success. Apartment they were in, and right. uh, I needed some extra dough, you know, on the rent. So I said, "Look, move in with me." Uh, so they brought all our stuff. Uh. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Net Worth Now, where you get to see the lifestyle and net worth of your favorite celebrities. We hope you enjoy these videos, and if you do, please remember to hit the like button and comment below who your favorite celebrity is so we can feature them in an upcoming video. His full name is Walter Bruce Willis, also known as Bruno. He was born on March 19, 1955, in Idar Oberstein, West Germany, making him 66 years old at the time of this production. He stands at 183 centimeters or six feet tall. His hobbies include singing and he even knows how to play the harmonica. He is also fond of sports, especially basketball and boxing. He even got into trouble once for having a loud outburst on a live broadcast because he was yelling at the New York Knicks. He was a frequent guest on The Late Show with David Letterman. He wears his watch upside down a trend that can be noted in some of his films, too. At their premiere of the film Stakeout, Willis met actress Demi Moore. They married on November 21, 1987, and had three daughters, Rumor, Scout, and Tallulah Willis. And Moore announced their separation on June 24, 1998. They filed for divorce on October 18, 2000, and the divorce was finalized later that day. Regarding the divorce, he felt that he failed as a father and a husband by not making it work. He credited actor Will Smith for helping him to cope with the situation. He has maintained a close friendship with Moore and her subsequent husband, actor Aston Kutcher, and attended their wedding. Willis was engaged to actor Brooke Burns until they broke up in 2004 after 10 months together. He married model Emma Hemming in Turks and Caicos on March 21st, 2009. Guests included his three daughters and Moore and Kutcher. The ceremony was not legally binding, so the couple wed again in a civil ceremony in Beverly Hills six days later. The couple has two daughters, Mabel and Evelyn. No, no, no yeah. they are Mabel. It is true. Don't you just want to just kick somebody's ass once in a while? You just want to whoop some ass and just haul off and just deck somebody? Come on. Yeah, yeah. I think it's right. Bruce Willis was born in the German town of Idar Oberstein. His mother Marlene was German from Kassel. His father, David Willis, was an American soldier. Willis has a younger sister, Florence, and two younger brothers, Robert and David. After being discharged from the military in 1957, his father took the family back to Kearney's Point, New Jersey. Willis has described his background as a long line of blue collar people. His mother worked in a bank, and his father was a welder, master mechanic, and factory worker. Willis attended Penns Grove High School and spoke with a stutter. He was nicknamed Buck Buck by his schoolmates. He joined the drama club, found that acting on stage reduced his stutter, and was eventually elected student council president. After graduating from high school in 1973, Willis worked as a security guard at the Salem Nuclear Power Plant and transported crew members at the DuPont Chambers Works factory in Deepwater, New Jersey. After working as a private investigator, a role he would later play in the comedy drama series Moonlighting and action comedy film The Last Boy Scout, he turned to action. 
he enrolled in the drama program at Montclair State University, where he was cast in Cat on a Hot Tin Roof production. He left school in 1977 and moved to New York City where he supported himself in the early 80s as a bartender at the Manhattan Art Bar Kamikaze while living in the Hell's Kitchen neighborhood. Apart from his high school and university education, Willis attended a theater program for three years at the Stella Adler Conservatory in New York. After struggling to find work, he finally got a chance to perform in Heaven and Earth's off-Broadway production in 1977. More stage appearances followed, including a lead role in Bullpen. Following his success on stage, he auditioned for the role of David Addison in the television series Moonlighting. He beat 3,000 other contenders to win the role. The series ran from 1985 to 1989 and made Willis a star. He got his first lead role in 1987 in the romantic comedy, Blind Date. The movie was a financial success, even though it received mostly negative reviews. He received his big breakthrough in the movie Die Hard in 1988. He played police officer John McClane in the film, which became a huge hit and established him as an action hero. He reprised his role as John McClane in the 1990 movie Die Hard 2, which outdid its predecessor in terms of commercial and critical success. His success as an actor took a beating when he starred in a string of flop movies in the early 1990s. He bounced back with a black comedy and crime film Pulp Fiction in 1994. His portrayal of Butch Coolidge in the film resurrected his acting career. In 1998, he starred in Armageddon, which became the highest grossing film of the year. The movie cast included Ben Affleck, Liv Tyler, Owen Wilson, Keith David, and Willis. In 2000, he appeared as Paul Stevens in three episodes of the TV sitcom Friends. His role in the series earned him much appreciation and an Emmy Award. Willis was an established action hero who took up several roles in the late 2010s and appeared in movies like Extraction, Marauders, and First Kill. In 2019, in 2019, Bruce Willis starred in the last installment of M. Night Shyamalan's Unbreakable Trilogy movie Glass, alongside James McAvoy, Samuel L. Jackson, and Sarah Paulson. Though the critics panned the movie, it was a huge box office hit. He won the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series in 1987 for his role in the television series Moonlighting. He also won a Golden Globe Award for Best Actor Television Series Comedy for the same role. He was awarded Office of the Order of Arts and Letters by the French government in April 2005. Black film, if you don't speak French. Um, <laughs> film noir. Uh, yeah, it's, it, it's, um, it, it is intense. It's really, it's almost, you know what, almost too intense. His estimated annual salary is around $11 million. And as of 2021, his estimated net worth is $186 million. He owns a mansion in Bedford, New York. It's a spectacular 8,000 square foot home on 14 acres with incredible views, which he purchased for $9 million. The Parrot K property is an eight acre sunset facing compound that comes with three beachfront homes that total 35,000 square feet of living space. An additional 17,000 feet of outdoor terraces feature four pools protected by rows of coconut, banana, and papaya trees. Bruce Willis owns a pricey log cabin compound in Sun Valley, featuring a beautiful wood construction. The compound incorporates all the elements of a glamorous lifestyle. The spacious complex includes six bedrooms, six baths, a marvelous living room, and a stainless steel kitchen. In his garage, you can find a 1957 Chevrolet Corvette convertible, a 1967 Chevrolet Corvette Roadster, a 1968 Pontiac Firebird 400 convertible, a 1968 Shelby Mustang GT500 convertible, a 1969 Dodge Charger, a 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air Nomad, and a Bentley Continental GTC.